Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Ataki RP. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can configure RMS mobile application with Ataki RP. So let's start the video. As for first step, we have to configure mobile application and Ataki RP or PC in a single network. As for third step, we have to open control panel, programs and features. There you have to enable Windows features. Here first of all we have to enable .NET Framework 4.8 Advanced Service. We have to enable it. Second one we have to enable Internet Information Service. So we have to enable both Web Management Tools and World Wide Web Service. We have to click OK in order to apply the changes. If you require, you have to restart your PC. In my case, uh, I'm restarting my PC by clicking restart button here as for next step we have to open attack web if you don't have this file you can contact our support and open web configuration here you can open it as notepad and you can use source as your instance name in my case it's default instance so I used a local host if you have a named instance you can just simply use your named instance here and as catalog you can use your DB name in my case it's RMS that's my DB name so you can input as such and you can save it as for next up we have to open RMS we have to set some default fields in order to use RMS mobile app first one waiter depot bank account you have to set all these as default next one is printer we have to set order printer by default and third one order print format you have to set order print format so these are the basic uh, default settings you have you should follow before starting mobile application once all these steps are passed you have to use service you have to restart SQL service you simply search service here and select and restart the service in order to apply all these settings as for next step we have to open command prompt you have to run it as administrator you can simply use this location the same location will get from the document which you can download it from below description you can hit enter in order to complete the enabling feature when it's successfully enabled you can go to the next step as for next step we have to open IIS we have to set the location so here you can see default website you can right click you can use add application here you have to enter the same name which we provide to the folder as you can see attack web here simply type attack web here you have to choose 4.5 here and you can choose the path in my case attack web located in G Drive RMS mobile folder so you have to choose the same wherever the location is you can choose the same armas mobile attack verb that's it as a result you can see attack verb under default website you can right click you can use manage application you can click browse so here you can see the website and here you can choose api slash login hit enter and you can see armas is connected to the website and the employee name here and all of the settings will be visible so if it is visible which means the connection is okay as for next step we have to install RMS mobile application in Android device in my case I just already installed let's open it as you can see settings and login here so use settings in order to input our IP address of our PC like I already said we have to configure our mobile application and PC in the same network in my case this is my IP once it's saved you can close the application you can open again and click login in order to see the waiter so this waiter we just already created in RMS DB if I click it it shows the pin number you have to create the pin number from the ERP side when the creation of waiter and when we give the login details we have to input pin number in my case this is the pin number is logged in so these are the features we have in our mobile application we have dine in and takeaway 
so let's see how it's done so let's start from dining if I click dining as you can see the field here you can use new order here you simply click plus button down there and you can select the product for example you can increase the quantity you can add just like this you can add more product to order and once it's done you can simply click save button here down there and you can choose table if you need you can input all the detail if you need in my case I'm skip so if I click it shows save order invoice 23 so if I open it shows printer to kitchen so the next step is from RMS you can simply select that order and you can make bill you can finally settle the bill from ERP the same concept goes for takeaway if I open new order you can simply select you can use modifier if you need you can give kitchen note you can add once you're done you can simply save it click ok in order to confirm the order so let's try closing the bill from ERP and let's see what will affect the RMS application so let's see even RMS I just uh, made two transactions one is dining and one is takeaway let's see dining you can simply search you can see the ordered invoice here so let's try to make a bill the table it's confirmed and let's uh, complete the payment completed updated now let's close takeaway also Make bill you need to give more details you can just give date simply select takeaway you can make the payment if you need you can update now let's try open RMS mobile application now let's see what happened to the dining and takeaway bills that we just made after we built from ERP. If I open it will be clear. It will transfer to the build column and takeaway also it transfer to the build column. So this is how you can use RMS mobile application. Thank you.